Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm finally ready to transplant some seedlings. I got a purple cauliflower, but unfortunately I only was able to grow one seedling. And so the rest of these are pak choy or bok choy. Uh, let me know how you say it properly. And uh, his, this is the cheap raised bed that I filled, that I backfilled uh, with peat moss and uh, my native soil. And uh, if you remember, earlier this year, I grew corn. I should have grown beans. And then I had a sorghum seed agrarist cover crop. And I'm curious on how the soil looks like. So I just cut out a little bit of the dirt. And this is how the soil looks like. Not too bad looking, in my opinion. Uh, it's a lot better than. Well, I don't know. It's a lot better than what it used to be, but it's not terrible, I guess. Um, I was hoping for it to look a lot darker, but I guess that's just not gonna happen. It's not in the first season, I guess. But yeah, this is my purple cauliflower. Only able to grow one. And this is a soil that I made myself. There, so there's um, pumice, biochar, rock dust, just different types of amendments. If you've seen a video where I show you how I make my own seedling soil, then you'll know what's in here. If you haven't, then I'll link it in the end of the video or the description below. You can see there's nice roots. It's a little waterlogged just because I watered it this morning or earlier today. I just put this soil back because I don't need it. Use some of this sorghum that I chopped as a mulch. And uh, I'm not worried about this sorghum coming back just because it's going to be getting really cold soon. So uh, whatever grows back is going to die off anyway. So yeah, this is one out of four plants I need to plant. And I'm using this to measure out how far I want to transplant these and I want to do every 10 inches so I'm gonna do 10 inches this way 10 inches that way and then I'll do a foot long ways but yeah I got this transplant thing it's for mainly bulbs so like if you're trying to transplant garlic Or onions, this would be great. And yeah, I'm basically getting ready for a fall garden. It's October 26th today. So right now is a great time to transplant my seedlings. And because I make my own soil, this soil is nice and loose and easy to take out of these containers. Right now we're getting a 50 degree nights and it's still getting up to the upper 70s in the morning so it's perfect time to transplant and uh, for me it's early in the morning it's still like 11 almost 12 and you can see the sun is barely leaving from this area so our days are becoming not as long as they usually would be
but that's fine. With this one, you can see there's pretty good roots from all the sorghum. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I'll be right back with a hand shovel. Okay, so I'm back with this uh, bowl planter. My soil is not soft enough for me to dig in it with that thing. So I'm using a hand shovel and it's making quick work of these roots. Yeah, it's just a little awkward. But we got it done. So this is the tree bark. Oops, I didn't mean to bury it. There we go, found it. And there we go. That's the first three. I'll be right back. I'll transplant the rest of these and I'll show you how, how this bed looks like afterwards. All right, YouTube. So it's been like 10, 15 minutes since I started transplanting these. Uh, you can see I only have like two rows of the bok choy and then one cauliflower. And the reason why it took me about 15 minutes is because I had broccoli that I wanted to plant or transplant. And they're on the other side of the bed. As you can see. And uh, yeah, right now I'm just going to water everything because my native soil was kind of dry. And um, I noticed that I can water. Yeah, that I can water. And um, that I still have tons of space. And I might grow more seedlings. So I'm able to transplant them. Or... I just might uh, start them from seed in the raised bed. So let me know what I should do. But yeah, those are the, these are the broccoli. And over there is the one purple cauliflower and uh, uh, four, two, yeah, four bok choy. And I have this raised bed over here that I need to clean up. I'm going to chop this sorghum. Then I'm gonna All right, YouTube. Uh, I forgot to record it, but I planted the red acre cabbage over here. Uh, the plants that I had, the rest I just put new seeds to fill it out. So hopefully that'll be this will be getting covered soon with new plants. And over here is the mammoth red cabbage. So basically, I have two cabbages growing, and uh, and one raised bed. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated with these, with these two raised beds. And yeah, let me show you the other part of the garden that I planted two new berry bushes. As you can see, this is my blueberry that I planted yesterday or two days ago. Uh, today's Tuesday. Yeah, I did it on Sunday. So that's the first one. And here's the second blueberry.
Okay, YouTube, so I realized in the last two clips there was no audio. Uh, I didn't realize my mic died. But yeah, I just backfilled this grassroots hot pot with the uh, soil that I mixed up in my, ca in my container thing. Wagon thing, I already forgot what it's called. But yeah, now I'm just going to water everything in. And uh, I think I'm going to water this every day until I start seeing some greenery. And this whole thing is going to be carrots. Not, I'm not planting anything else in here. Because I don't need anything else in here. I could. If I really wanted to. Like put leafy greens or whatever. But I really want a bunch of carrots. And I'm going to let them overwinter. Because uh, apparently carrots get sweeter when you overwinter them. And then uh, harvest in spring hopefully. Can't forget these raised beds. So this is the cabbage one, like I said. So this will be growing uh, red cabbage. Two different types of red cabbage, but they're both red cabbages. And this one's gonna be growing broccoli. And uh, over there is gonna be a few bok choy and one red cauliflower. And yeah, and that's it for today's video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, it would be greatly appreciated if you left a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.